Jeff Chandler for the events calendar. Since June 2018, Google has required the use of an API key to use Google Maps features. The events calendar comes with a Google Maps API key built into it, but we strongly recommend adding your own API key, especially if you use Events Calendar Pro. To create your custom API key, head to Google's API key documentation and click the Get Started button underneath the Get an API key header. Prompts will guide you through the creation of a project within Google. Complete this process until you end up with a Google Maps API key, and also make sure that Geocoding API, Maps JavaScript API, and Maps Embed API are enabled. Go to the APIs and Services section, choose Enable APIs and Services at the top. You should be able to enable the two services on the following page. And it might look something like this. Now, take the API key, head to Events, Settings, and then click on the Integrations tab. Scroll down where you see Google Maps API. Remove this one or just copy and paste your generated API key and make sure you place it in here. Then click the Save Changes. So you might be wondering, what are these APIs for? Well, the geocoding API fetches the coordinates for the venue locations automatically. With the help of Maps JavaScript API, the map will show up on the map view in the single event page. The Maps Embed API is needed for the map to show up on the venue page, which looks something like this. Note that the map view and the venue page are features of Events Calendar Pro. In most cases, the default Google API key will work just fine. But if you're using Events Calendar Pro, using a custom API key has the advantage of enabling location search in the calendar search bar, which looks a little something like this. Now here's a breakdown of the differences in functionality and appearance of maps related features based on what kind of API key you're using. And if we take a look at this table, any one of these features on the left that has a lightning bolt next to it indicates it's an Events Calendar Pro feature. As you can see with the default API key, we have limited functionality or certain items are not functional at all. So by and large, in most cases, you're going to want to create and use a custom API key. Now there's often a limit on the number of API requests your API key is authorized to make per day. If you have a particularly high traffic site, it's recommended that you take some steps to restrict your API keys functionality and limit their use to only specifically whitelisted domains. Google provides a number of options to help secure your API key and prevent unauthorized usage, which we highly recommend if you think restricting your API key is a necessary step. We also have a Creating Google Maps API Key Restriction article as well, which we'll link to in the video description below. If you've added your own API key, but are still experiencing some issues with map-related features, here are some possible ways to fix things up. First, confirm that you've actually entered your full, unedited API key into the correct settings field on events, settings, integration screen in WordPress. And that's what you're looking at on this screen right here. Make sure this field has the correct API key. Next, head to your Google Cloud Platform's Maps API management page, which will look like this, and select the project that your API key belongs to. Confirm that the geocoding API, Maps JavaScript API, and Maps Embed API show up in the enabled API section of the project's APIs page. If any of these are missing, make a new API key and ensure that the new API key has all three APIs enabled for it. If issues persist, you're going to have to contact Google support team by clicking the support tab in the left hand sidebar. They should be able to help ensure that both of these free APIs are enabled for your API key. Finally, confirm that your venues have valid longitude and latitude data. If you created venues before adding your own custom Google Maps API key, you will need to add your custom API key and then use the Fix Venue Data button, which you can see in the screenshot, in the Events Calendar Settings on the Display page to update the data and make it accurate. If you're still running into any issues regarding your API key or certain Maps functionality are not working, please contact our support team as we're more than willing to help you out.